Good morning. Good morning. We are on embarkation day today. Sunday, June 2nd. It's my yeah. dad's birthday, so if you see him, shout it out. <laughs> Although we'll be late by the time you guys get it. But. <laughs> yeah. And we saw the new Amsterdam pass by our uh, hotel balcony uh, window a little bit earlier. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We saw the ship coming in at about 6.30. It's now 7.15. And uh, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Start our day. We can't get, can't even go over to the port until about ten. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. So I've decided to get an omelet, a three egg omelet, with cheese, bacon, and mushroom with a side of avocado. Very excited about the avocado. And of course my tea. I'm gonna get the North Shore breakfast, which is um, two eggs, cooked your style, any style, hash browns, and bacon sausage or ham. Sounds good to me. It looks good. Hey, Lou. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have two eggs, over medium, which maybe they got a medium, more like well done. Some, what I call hash browns, look like home fries, bacon and sausage. Hey, it's 9.25, getting ready to check in. Yep, oh, gotta move. So we're sitting in row five, and now uh, we're just waiting. Yeah, it was interesting getting through the check-in yeah. and U.S. Customs and Immigration. It's kind of like organized chaos. Yeah, uh, controlled chaos. It was just people moving everywhere, and you had to kind of kind of guess where to go, but there were plenty of uh, security folks to direct you to the next step in the process. But there was a lot of crossover too between this line and that line, and this area uh, and that area. Yeah. But I will say, yeah, I mean, because it moved very fast. It did. And so you felt like you were making progress, but it probably took a good half hour or more yeah. to get to the seat. I mean, right now it is 10.05. Uh, they're supposed to start boarding at 10.30. Is that right? Uh, That's what I recall seeing. No, it starts at 10. At 10, okay. Yeah. Well, I, and they're just seating people here in these uh, rows right now, so. It doesn't look like they've started uh, yeah. boarding anyone. If I remember trip. correctly, I started saying, hey, it's 9.30, and then we had to run, and that was it. We haven't been able to sit back. So it did, it took about a half yeah. hour. Yeah. And that was with so, a bathroom break. Yeah, so uh, not too bad. I mean, it is the, the first time that we've had been seated in a uh, waiting area before boarding, but we are here earlier than we have ever been to board yeah. a ship. Yeah. I mean, normally we're getting there at our boarding time of 10.30 or 11.30 or 12.30, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, this time, it's said to try to show up before 10.30 or after. Before 10 or after 1.30 or something. After 1.30. But no, 10, I think it was 10.30, you're right. All aboard was 3. You have to be on board by 3.30. 3.30, yeah. yeah. So. Saturday, anyway. I think it's 4. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll uh, show you when we get on board, I guess. About 15 minutes, and they're already starting uh, people standing up. And oh, it was 10:05. Yeah, 10 yeah, minutes. 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, and they're starting to uh, starting the boarding process. Yeah, so row two. Yeah, row, row two. Three. Row, row five. Three. We're five. So here we go. We made it to another sitting area. Yeah, false alarm. Not boarding yet, but I think we can see the boat now or the ship. Yeah. Um, you see water. Yep. Uh, so we moved from one line to another line to another line to another line, yeah, but and they had us sit down. Area. And then they called row by row and moved us out of that holding area to a new holding area. Yeah, and if you are high status for loyalty, yeah. you're in that area over there. 10.30 and they're standing us up again from the new seating area. It looks like we're going to board. Yeah. All right.
ready? <laughs> Real teakwood deck. Here we go. We made it on board. Yeah, it's and we're in the crow's nest, yep. Which is a place that we're hoping to hang out a lot, especially while we're cruising, because you've got like at least 180 degree views uh, across the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a really uh, good viewing platform. Yeah. At least for indoor viewing. And when it rains, when it's raining. Like now. Like right now. <laughs> that's probably a good place to be. And it's close to the art studio, and there's just no fence here. Yeah. So. And there's a bar up here, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can Water. get well, look at drinks, nice coffee, bed. tea. Like oh, yeah. Bed. Heavy. What we got? Cheers. Cheers. Our first drink. about this venue right here. <laughs> We got our bags, we're all unpacked. Almost time for sail away. Ah, uh, this is a small cabin. This is the smallest cabin that we've been at sea in together. Yeah, so if we make it through this seven days <laughs> in this little tiny room without killing each other, we're destined for great things. Yes. <laughs> it's small. There's not much storage. There is no lounge space at all. So you've got no couch or anything like that that we're used to. Yeah, everything um, needs to be put away all the time. And it, so that's going to be challenging for us. Yeah, especially with all the charging <laughs> stuff that we've got. Yes. And the hats and the gloves and the coats. And oh, the yeah, yeah. I mean, you're in Alaska. It's not yeah. like, okay, we're yeah. in shorts and t-shirts and bathing suits. Right. No, we right. got coats. We got rain jackets. We got hats. We got gloves. We're going to make it work. Yep, we are. Because we can do this. It's yeah. going to be fun. Whoever that cruise vlogger said that said, oh, don't worry about an inside room for Alaska. You'll never be in your room anyway. Yeah, well, that may work for most people, but when you're trying to vlog it and you got all that extra gear too, it does make for really tight quarters. Yes, I mean, it is more affordable and that's it why it is very attractive affordable. to yeah. people. And for us, that's how it kind of went. We were like, hey, you know what? <laughs> we're not gonna be in the room anyway. <clears throat> And you know, it's it's it, the price difference was you know more appealing, yeah, and so I mean, we're like, all right, let's give it a shot. We've never been in an interior room together. Now I know why. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
so. Especially on some of these older ships because the <laughs> interior rooms are, it's not like just a balcony room without the balcony. No, it's definitely no, not. It all. is definitely not. It it's is a very bed small. With a yeah, little yeah. A tiny bed desk and a, and a small a desk bed. and and mm -hmm. you know, a closet to hang your clothes up in with some shelves and bathroom's about the same size as you would have anywhere else. Bathroom's not too bad actually, you know. The size of the room, the bathroom's like a suite. Yeah. <laughs> But we're happy anyway. It's okay. Yeah. We're happy. We're not we're on complaining. Vacation. We're going to we're Alaska. Hell baby. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go check out the sail away party and see what else there is to do tonight. Yes. And we'll be back. Bye. I don't know what it tastes like, and I don't care, but it's a really cool souvenir cup. Yeah. yeah. So, Glacier see, Sprints. Yeah, the, the Glacier Sprints. Sail away drink. Cheers. Not too bad. Yeah, it's sweet, but it's not too bad. I'm here with Gage. He is a cruise director. How long have you been a cruise director? For? I've been cruise and travel director for two years. Two I'm years? For two years. Wow, now. yeah. Here on New Amsterdam? Uh, I jump around. So this okay. This is my eighth call in America line since. Wow. Yeah. So That's pretty cool. Quite busy. We have uh, 11, so three more to go. So, and I'll be on Tony Sam in August, so nice. I'll get another one off. So. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, not often that we get to meet our cruise director no, no, no. and talk to him, but well, uh, I'm glad you got day yeah. one, yeah. Day one. Now we're in. We're already good. There we go. Ready for sail away. Yeah, me too. Excited. <laughs> Super steamy in here. People are having to wipe the windows to be able to get the sea out and see the sail away. It's so fucked up. Awesome though. Our first All of America sail away. Playing our kind of music. Yeah. Maybe not this particular song, but like. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I am so cold right now. <laughs> we went out on the rear Lido deck to uh, do some wildlife watching uh, with but, our wildlife expert. But we did a major thing wrong. Do you know what we did what, wrong? What, what did we do wrong? We wore t-shirts. Yeah, we and had no, t-shirts and rain jackets. No layers. No and layers. And so it went yeah. through. It's wet, it's cold. Wet, and cold. So, yeah. yeah. Didn't last long. Didn't see anything. We weren't really looking. It was we raining freezing. the whole yeah. time. So we came back to the room, tried to dry everything off as much as we could. Got a little warmer. Yeah, we're gonna go to dinner. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, main dining room. Embarkation day. I'm so cold and I feel bad that I'm, I got my sweatshirt on. Like I like to dress for dinner, but I got to warm up. I mean, I could do this and like take, take it off a little bit. I got to warm up. I'm cold. Like I need a hot tea or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit cold, isn't it? It went through my bones. We're going to order and see what we got here. Yes. Oh my god, this is so good. It's hot, it's warm. I feel wonderful. It's delicious. I want to say it's the Alaskan seafood 
foil appetizer. Whatever it was, it sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. This is the French onion soup, big surprise. It's a shrimp, but let's see what it's all about. It's very nice. It's almost like a... And it's going to totally ruin it for everybody, but it's almost like a, a Thousand Island, but not, not like that flavor. Yeah. But not, it's it's much more creamy and not as, I don't know, but awesome. it's very good. But if I was to rate it, I would say it was probably about 7.5 or maybe It's good, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I had to have it. I had the French onion soup and it was okay. Nothing spectacular. Um, so far with the, the different meals that we've had here, uh, lunch and dinner here on uh, Hall in America so far, I, don't, I haven't really seen the increase in quality in food over some of the other lines, but it's still early, so we'll see. And for what Corey said, I'm gonna piggyback on that, where he said about the quality of the different foods and stuff, a lot of people rave about uh, and having a higher step up food, or, you know, better quality food. And yeah, it's good, but we're not seeing that, that step up in quality that we heard or that people talk about at long. But like you said, it's early and I haven't had anything bad. So I just look forward to continuing on. Oh, there's, there's the rest of your dinner. Yeah, there was, well, they were supposed to, I think, come with some fries. I don't want the fries. No potatoes. All right. And I got the rockfish. Looks like it's in a, on a bed of risotto with mussels and... Clams and shrimp. Clams and shrimp, <laughs> yeah. What was that again? Hot fudge sundae. And this was... Triple berry tart. Triple berry, triple Alaskan berry tart. Kind of pretty. Nuts, vanilla, chocolate. What's not the love? Cream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a little pastry shell. Some berries and whipped cream, and you're moving that around a lot. Sure you. Kind of custard or something. Yeah, it's okay. It's um, an interesting little custard type part. So for now, let's take a little look as to where we're going during our voyage. So earlier today, we departed from Vancouver, Canada, and then we're going to be entering the Georgia Strait, now for its abundance of wildlife. We then are navigating through the narrows of Johnson Strait, so we take our guests to visit more glaciers in Alaska than any other cruise lines, and there are three great ways to see glaciers on this cruise, by land, by sea, or by air. Good evening. Hey guys. So, it has been a long day. Yes. And we're trying to stay up so that uh, we don't throw off <laughs> yeah. our sleep. Yeah, our Second sleep is thrown off <laughs> enough as it is. Because um, we lost three hours flying over here yesterday. We're about to lose another and hour. And we're about to lose point. another hour, I think, tonight or tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check, check our uh, schedule and find out exactly when that happens. But yeah, four, uh, Alaska's four hours behind uh our home time zone so mm -hmm. yeah so shall we do a recap or yeah so we got up early today and had breakfast at our hotel went to the port got on the ship looked around rain. saw a bunch of different stuff had a lot of rain all day long all day and um haven't seen any wildlife yet but we did meet our wildlife expert uh dominic dominic yep They've been kind of isolated and they live there, but, but they're a uh, subspecies. Okay. And they're a little bit smaller and they're darker. I saw a couple of uh, presentations that talked about 
the wildlife we can see and the other things to do while we're here in Alaska. Uh, but it is getting late at this point. It's like nine o'clock now. And we may do a couple of more things, but we're probably gonna call it an early night. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been a day, so so if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. You're not gonna want to miss any of the stuff that we got coming no. up. And it's on free. This trip. Why wouldn't you do it? Yeah, the landscape is beautiful, even though it's been rainy. Uh, we expect to get some really amazing footage of just the majestic landscape around us. From peaks to tides. See you on the next ride. Bye guys. <laughs>